This is going to be your guide to making insane amounts of money in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, the first thing we are going to need is a Smeargle. Smeargle can learn all of the moves that we needed to because it can learn every move via Sketch. Now, in this case, I already have a Smeargle that's mostly set up, but I will do the last move to show you guys how it works because there is a little confusion as to how you can get the moves onto Smeargle. So, I'm just going to go and use Roost right now on my Scizor because I need some kind of recovery. And there we go. Smeargle is going to learn Roost. Now, what I do is I don't go into my bag. I switch out into my Smeargle and I make sure my Smeargle already has Sketch open. So there's actually a lot of really good things about Pokemon Sun and Moon having Smeargle or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon having Smeargle as an SOS encounter. See as you can see right there the wild Smeargle just used Roost so all I have to do is come in with a Sketch and now I can Sketch the Roost just like that. So for status moves it is incredibly easy. As for learning an offensive move pretty much what we need to do is we need to get that Smeargle to SOS call. So damage it with a weakish move or use false, false swipe on it and then that's going to put that Smeargle down into a place where it will want to call for help. Now when Smeargle does call for help, all you have to do is faint that Smeargle and then the newly called Smeargle will sketch the move that killed its friend. So as we can see right here, Wild Smeargle is going to sketch the offensive move. So that's why SOS is incredible for having Smeargle learn moves via sketch. Unfortunately, you can only do one move per battle or at least one move per Smeargle per battle because then that means you have to go back to the move relearner, relearn sketch, and then come back for a new move. But overall, it makes it pretty simple. That's how you can get a setup like this. Roost, Payday, Happy Hour, False Swipe. False Swipe is technically treated like a, a status move because it can't KO the Smeargle. So False Swipe is also really easy to get on it. And this is pretty much all that you're going to need. Now shoutouts to Nanua from my fan discord server with one of the funniest tweets I have seen in a while. Just whoops. Dropped 100k using this pickup method making insane amounts of money now I already knew about this I even made a guide pretty much doing the same thing in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire But since it didn't work with O powers I was like well the methods all right But it's not like the most insane thing ever But Nanua bringing it back for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and it is still video worthy Now the best thing about happy hour right now is pretty much everyone can get it because of the rock Ruff event so the own Timbo Rockruff that evolves in Dusk Form Lycanroc, you might overlook it, but it has Happy Hour. So what we can do is use that Happy Hour on a Smeargle, sketch it, and then we're pretty much good to go. So you can redeem this from 17th of November to the 10th of January. Also, there was the Happy Hour Munchlax that pretty much did the same thing for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So Happy Hour is very accessible, and even if you've missed the event, there's probably a ton of people with Happy Hour Smeargle, Munchlax, Rockruff, or any of the other Happy Hour events, because there's been some pretty obscure ones. Now, it started off as like a rare, hard to find thing because it was like Japan only events for like really weird distributions and giveaways, but then they started getting promoted like through Smeargles and stuff, and now almost everyone has access to the happy hour. So because of that, it's not super difficult to get. Also, you don't even need to have happy hour on the Smeargle. Pretty much what that does is it saves a team slot, but it adds an extra step in having to get your uh, Smeargle to learn the happy hour. So it's kind of preference at that point. You know, just, you just want the Smeargle all in one Pokemon right here. Boom, happy hour payday, make the money. Or do you just want to have another Pokemon? Because yeah, you can get the Rock Ruff, use the happy hour, and you're kind of done from there. Which also brings us to the next point, that if you're not using Smeargle, Payday is going to work in mysterious ways. So Payday is going to be the main way that we are making money for this guide. And whenever you use Payday, it gives you five times the user's level in money. So having a level 100 is going to reward more than having a level 50. And one of the fastest ways of getting level 100 is through the Pokemon Red and Blue Virtual Console by missing no glitching, a ton of rare candies, using those on a Pokemon, and then transferring it over, which is something that you can do. So as you can see right here, by TM, a ton of Pokemon learn Payday through TM. You can even get the Payday Mewtwo if you want. So you can get any of these Pokemon on the Virtual Console, get them to level 100, and then just have the Happy Hour Pokemon be separate, and now you're earning max money in a short amount of time. As for the next thing you need to do is find an Amulet Coin. So Happy Hour plus Amulet Coin is going to give us four times the amount of money earned per battle, which is pretty crazy. Let's not encounter him. And if you go right here, that's it. Just go to the Pokemon Ranch, hop over here, there's an Amulet Corn waiting on the ground, and then you're pretty much set up at this point. So let's go and see how much money we can earn with this method. Now after that, it's pretty much just going to be a standard SOS battle, and because of it, I strongly recommend that you use this method whenever you are shiny hunting, because you are going to be using Payday a lot. 
and it's it's just why not you know if you have a high enough smeargle you pretty much damage anything if you're going up against ghost type pokemon you can teach the smeargle foresight and then you can still hit ghost types which kind of works out in a pretty strange way so yeah what we can do is just set up the false wipe onto a mudbray and now we're, we're sos chaining we're shiny hunting we're doing whatever we can be ev training just whatever you're doing bringing the smeargle for the money works out pretty well as long as at some point you use happy hour now what I like doing is leading with false swipe because sometimes a Pokemon does call for help, sometimes it doesn't, so help didn't appear, which means boom, free happy hour, and it doesn't matter when you use happy hour, that you can use payday first, it just multiplies the money at the end of the battle. So it's not like every payday before happy hour being used doesn't double, it, it always doubles once the happy hour has been used. So as you can see, we're in a pretty good rhythm right now, so we get to use payday once, hit that mud bray over there, and then we can just keep going back and forth and stuff. Coins are going to scatter everywhere, that's going to be a KO, and then it just depends on the level of Pokemon you're going up against. And even that, if you're going up against higher level Pokemon, as long as Smeargle isn't taking lots of damage, that's why I have the Roost on it, because say you're uh, SOSing level 40s or something, you're going to be taking damage, but you can still Roost it up and then find Paydays and stuff. So that's going to be pretty good, and then yeah, we just go over here, we use our Adrenaline Orb, and there's really no difference and we can just go as long as we want and make as much money as we feel the need to now some of you guys might be wondering about the roto prize money because it triples the prize money that you receive after a battle so let's use it and let's see how much we end up making because that means we get up to six thousand pokey dollars per use of payday because that's gonna be times three times two times two that is a lot of money to be dealing with so what we have is a Meowth so I went to Malay Garden caught a Meowth went to the move relearner and then got payday so it's just that easy to get payday in Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon if you need it as well went out to where there's low level Pokemon so let's go throw down the payday and see how much money we make now there's no amulet coin uh, we're gonna be using it twice apparently because Meowth doesn't do good damage against the slow bro or slow poke and that is going to give us 260 so it doesn't seem like it stacks now the weird thing is I've been having people tell me that they've been able to use the Rodomo power and then get the prize money to stack but I haven't seen it on Smeargle on Pokemon that aren't Smeargle so it's kind of like inconclusive but even then the money is still good without it working also with the Rodomo power it times out that unlike what we've seen with other O powers, that you can keep like the experience point power infinitely during a battle, but the Roto powers actually seem to wear off mid-battle. So say you're using the experience point power, and then it wears off during an SOS battle, you start receiving regular experience during the battle. So it updates mid-battle, which means you'd only have 10 minutes of being able to use the Roto prize power before it wears off. So it's not like you're missing out. If you're going for the really long battles but in like 10 minutes you can grind a crazy amount of money in a super short amount of time also Rodom to to get the O powers is pretty much uh, it's pretty much just super RNG so every time every time Rodom looks tired you gotta you gotta tap him tap him tap the eyes and then see if you can roll for the O power but at this time it doesn't seem like it matters so I don't know it's it's weird so if you want to get really crazy, then we can go for the super high-tech advanced setup. And that super high-tech advanced setup is going to be using skill swap on a Pokemon like the Chansey. So what this is going to do is give Chansey Harvest. Then you want to use the move Switch. Now all of these are actually move tutors. So you get a Trevenant that has Harvest as the ability, and then you go to the move tutor, you get skill swap and trick, and then you can go and drop a Lepa Berry on to the Chansey. So boom, switching the items, Chansey obtains the Lepa Berry. So that's going to be that Chansey set. The reason why we did all of that is because Chansey won't struggle. That harvest activates 50% of the time, so because of that, it's not going to be in a position where it's running out of PP, since whenever it does, it will consume the Lepa Berry. Now it does get kind of clutch because Chansey has the fling. But since Chansey wants to keep using moves like Reflect and Heal Pulse before they keep failing, there's still a good chance that Chansey won't struggle because eventually it's just going to get that Harvest and then it's going to get the Lepa Berry back. That's going to reset one of its moves and you should be good to go. So now we bring in the Smeargle. I mean, we could set up the Happy Hour, we can start going for False Swipes, and this is where it just like helps to have a higher level Smeargle because not quite enough to take out the Chansey, but at the same time, that can still be like good enough as well. So we can go and use Happy Hour, set that up, Boom, everyone's in the happy atmosphere. We can use the Adrenaline Orb, and we can just get Chansey in that SOS grind. And now, now we're like double dipping. We're triple dipping. We're just doing so much goodness right now, because we're making money, 
every time we use Payday, and it takes multiple Paydays to KO a Chansey or a Blissey, we're gaining experience. So this method really synergizes with the fastest level 100 Pokemon method, SOS Shiny Hunting, and Money Making. So you can just kind of stack all kinds of craziness right now. So we can do is use the Payday on the new Chansey, and we're going to see how much damage it is. Coins scattered everywhere. Fortunately, Chansey has a low amount of defense, but I mean, it, it actually doesn't matter. And with this Heal Pulse, you can kind of get in a pretty crazy loop. Because now what this means is that I'm using Payday, and then it doesn't matter if I faint the Pokemon or not. I'm not here for EVs. I'm not here for grinding out as many Chansey kills as possible. Uh, you could be if you're just, like, prioritizing experience, but I'm not prioritizing experience. So I'm gaining experience on the side while making money while just kind of using Payday. So that's, go that's gonna be the breakdown right there, guys. You can keep doing that, and you can keep making lots and lots of money. Okay, so I've been doing this for a while, and there are some weird things that can happen, such as Chansey using a Lepaberry Fling on you actually restores your PP. So by doing that, I'm not saying it gives you an infinite amount of PP, but it technically could, because if you're just spamming Adrenaline Orbs, eventually Chansey is going to roll that fling after the harvest and then throw the Lepaberry at you, thus giving you back PP. But also, Lepaberry is just going to be your friend in general. That By using the Pokepelago, there's effectively no excuse for not having hundreds of Lepaberries. So depending on how long you want the battle to go, you'll have enough Lepaberries to get you through it. Also, say if something does go wrong with the Chansey and it like, starts struggling or something, just make sure it calls for help, or hope that it calls for help, and then just switch it over. Because you don't need to skill swap with the trick to make this the most effective. It just kind of makes it a bit more AFK, that you don't have to worry about things. But at any point, if you feel like Chansey could be running low on PP, you just KO that Chansey when another one's called, false swipe the new one, and then you just recycle the SOS. So that's pretty much like basic SOS chaining stuff. That's how it ends up working. Uh, you can use Adrenal Orb, you can use False Swipe, you can do whatever. But yeah, see, the Lepaberry is going to get flung at me, and I had, like, yeah, and just said my, my uh, PP was restored with the Lepaberry. That's, that's something that can happen with this. Um, also, I had Roost just in case Chansey was doing damage, but it doesn't really do that that much damage. You know, it's, uh, it's not a high attacking Pokemon. If you're at, like, level 80, 90, 100, it's whatever. But I'm gaining insane amounts of experience just in the course of this battle. I'm gaining thousands of per Chansey KO, while also gaining thousands of dollars. And if I had level 100, it would be even more. So level 100 would be four times five, or yeah, it'd be like four times five times 100. So we're making 2,000 Poke Dollars per use. And we can just keep doing this as long as we want. And again, there could be a shiny Pokemon around the corner. So going for the shiny charm, I'll sell to that. Payday's back at max PP. So like I said, while it's not guaranteed that you can get max or that you have infinite PP, you might not have to worry as much as you think. So the the fling creating some weird situations with the Chansey also benefits us quite a lot. And we could even learn sketch midway. That, oh man, that'd be ridiculous. Like what could we what could we learn with a sketch midway through this battle that could benefit us? And the idea is that you want to do a full team of this as well. So Trevenant Smeargle is going to take up two slots, and then that means you're getting four Pokemon to level 100 while utilizing everything on this method. So there we go, guys. Absolutely insane what this Smeargle can do. Um, I might as well just end the battle. I don't I don't know how many moves I use because of all the fling. I can't keep up with how many paydays. I don't know exactly how long it's been because I've like paused, stopped. Uh, I've done recordings and stuff. I've done video editing during this. So I, I don't have like the exact amount, but as long as Chansey doesn't call for help here. Oh, as long as it is a successful call for help here, we're going to just see like, oh yeah, by the way, I've already made crazy amounts of money just, just doing nothing. And also if something does go wrong, like say Chansey flings the berry, doesn't get any Lepa berries, and then like struggles itself to death after a long amount of time. Like, the only thing you're really losing is the chain for Shiny, but we're not here for Shinies anyways. And that's just a 20% chance you encounter the Chansey again. So it's not, like, the most insane, heartbreaking thing if you don't get it. Um, let's go. Yeah, and then Trevenant. So you're gonna have to, like, the, the most annoying thing is just mashing through the moves. We made 23,000 off of that in, I don't know, five minutes? Something like that. It's just, it's just crazy. So there we go, guys. That's gonna be how you make money and do all kinds of gr great stuff. Pokemon Ultra Sun Moon. Guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.